Hi, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be looking at what to do when you're really down in the dumps about being in a step family. Hi, I post once a week, so do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll let you know every time I post. Today, we're going to be talking about what to do when you're finding step family life really horrid. You can feel as though you are quite resentful of finding yourself in this situation. No one ever says what it's like to be in a step family before you start. Plus, everybody says, you knew what you were getting into. You knew there were these children there. Well, my answer to that is yes and no. Because what can seem to be one thing before you make a commitment to the family can be something quite different after you've got in there. Because prior to the commitment to becoming a step family, your partner would probably have given you undivided attention, you'd have been out on date nights, you'd have been courting, you'd been in love, yeah, you're, you're, you're starting out on this new relationship. And then the moment you get into the step family, you can find that actually your partner shares his time very differently and in fact expects you to take back seat when the children are around because they come first or they're the priority and, you know, you have suddenly slipped to second place. Plus, the children can be one thing when you uh, first meet them. They can be friendly, joyous, happy, easygoing. But then suddenly, when you transition from being your, their parents' friend to being their parents' partner and therefore a co-parent with their parent when it comes to parenting them, they can start saying things like, well, you're not my mum and you're not. So then you can find yourself in a situation where you can begin to feel very resentful, ostracised and frustrated that you can't get things to change more your way. Uh, you find as though you're having to give up so much and your hopes were so high. And I would say this, that in a situation like this, it's very easy to let the whole thing just get worse. And what I want to do is challenge you. You are in this situation, especially if you've committed to the relationship. So my challenge to you is to make it work in a way that's acceptable to you and will be able to ride the years that are coming with things as they are. If you sit in sadness and anger and frustration and irritation, then that will have no good effect on yourself and your health and your well-being. There are probably some good things about your situation. You have your partner. I am going to challenge you to see if you can find some of the good points about your situation. Sit down in an armchair with a cup of tea and think through what some of the advantages of being in this step family are and make the most of those. It's very easy to think that the grass is greener on the other side and that you'd been happier without this situation. 
And I'm not here to say that you wouldn't be. But what I would like to say, get a piece of paper and a pen or keep a notebook somewhere because it might take a few, a while to put this together. But think of the advantages that you've got as a result of being in this step family. And they will come and they will be there. At the end of the day, we have to live with, we have to live with ourselves. If we debunk from this relationship, we just take ourselves with us. Happiness lives at home, in here. No one else can make you unhappy unless you, they, you allow them to. Think, what can I do to feel that happiness in me, feel the real me and make the most of this situation? It is really, really hard. I run workshops, sessions, an email response service, booklets, and, and, and links to my website and social media are in the description box below.